Hey guys, how are we doing? It's me, Glory, and today I'm coming to you with a back to school card. Can you believe it? There's only a couple of more weeks before the kids go back to school. Yay! I'm super, super, super excited. So today I'm coming to you with a back to school card. And I end up using this paper pack right here from Doodlebug Design I got from Hobby Lobby. And I end up using a total of six files from the Cricut. And um, if you guys want to imitate this, um, I did a whole lot of slicing and imitating and turning around. But the files that I ended up getting was from, one file was a eyelet scallop label. And it was from Elegant Edges. And the number is 287264. Then I got a shoe that I ended up cutting in half to make a floor out of it from Rock Princess. And that uh, that cut is 259183. Then I ended up getting a girl's head from The Quiet Book. And that is 284635. Then I ended up getting two files from the Creative Friend Cartridge. And it's a back to school title. And it's 292176. And then I got a teacher, uh, it was a teacher file, but it had a blackboard or chalkboard. So I wanted to use the chalkboard. So to get that, you go to the number, uh, the, the n design number is 284991. And then I end up getting a girl from the recess cartridge. And the name of the file is girl at desk. And the file number is 247653. Now, a lot of these things was the reason why I used this and I used the quiet books for the girls' head is because in recess, I don't like the baby girls. I don't like the images on there. They look kind of funny. So what I ended up doing was taking the girls' head on this cut and attaching it to my uh, girl at the desk. So let's get started, guys. My card is going to be an A2 size card, and I have this card stock right here, and when you open it up, I already did the inside of it, and it says, wishing you the best, good luck, and I end up getting wishing you the best and good luck from this ink and, uh, this uh, Hero Art set, and this one, it is called Chalkboard Style Messages, so I end up using that, and then... That's the inside. Really simple and easy. Really did it really quick. So now I'm going to start doing the front of the card. Now for the front of the card, I'm going to open it up and lay it flat because I have my cardstock, which is this pinkish burgundy, not burgundy, but like a pinkish purple color. And then here goes the pattern paper that I got from that paper stack. And now I'm just going to adhere this right in the middle. And then I'm going to take this and now I'm just going to adhere it down here to the bottom of my cardstock, leaving it even. And that looks good right there. Okay, so there goes the front of my card. Now in the rock princess cartridge they have this cut let me see if i could bring it up on my on my uh okay um let's see and i was looking for a checkerboard floor and i could not find it so this was the next best thing So I end up getting this cut from this cut from the, this file and okay here it goes. So here goes the file that I end up getting and what I end up doing was I just kept the pink and the black and I sliced it as much as I can to make it even. So then when I did that here goes the best that I could to do for the floor. Now this right here is where the button goes. And I tried to attach a small little box there, but it just wouldn't take. So I just figured, oh, that'll be all right because all floors ain't even anyway. So I want it to look like this, guys. So now I'm just going to take my ATG and I'm going to put some glue.
and then now I'm going to add this to the bottom. Leaving it just like that. So as you can see, it's already coming out. And once I put my image there, a lot of you won't even notice it, guys. So there goes that. Now in here goes my chalkboard with the back to school title. And I end up cutting this out of my silver paper. And I'm going to adhere this right there up in the middle. And I was thinking about popping this up. But I um, think I'm just going to lay it flat. So I'm just going to take my ATG. And we're going to add tape all around. And then I'm going to line this even with my cardstock. Trying to line it up in the middle. And that looks good right there. Okay, so that don't look like the middle. Let me see if I could pick it up. Thank you. Okay, let's try one more time. Now that looks a little bit more better. Okay, so there goes that. Okay, now here goes my main image. And this is what I was telling you about, guys. If you will see, let me see if I could bring up the picture. I wanted to do something different because in the cartridge um, recess, I don't like how the girls look. And um, when I saw this cut, I had to do something else. And here goes the cut that I end up using. And I just didn't like how that girl looked with her hair. So I decided to get this cartridge to look on this cartridge, which is the quiet book. And then they had this girl, just her head, here she go, just her head. So what I did was I put everything together and I tried to size the head to the size that I wanted and I kind of welded it together but then again I kind of messed up too because I put the head too close down so if not her neck would have been down here guys so I had to alter something so instead of me cutting it I just cut the layer that I made a base for and kind of cut around there and kind of looked like she had some skin from her shirt of course and there goes that cut. And now I have her on some foam tape. So now I'm just, just going to take her out. And then to get the different colors of the desk, I just sliced a couple of pieces and then did it in a different color. So as you can see, the legs are silver. This is black. And then I cut the top so I could make it a different color. So it looks like a desk. So this is the legs, the metal part of the table. And then this is the, the desk. Because remember when you guys were in kindergarten, I guess, we had those desks that you had the little insert that you could put stuff in. Well, that's what I was thinking about. I hope they still have those things. I don't think so. Christian, do they even still have those desks that have the little inserts, like where you can add stuff in it? Uh, yes, hmm. No. They don't have that because my, 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 my boy don't, he's like, oh, no, that's a good question. Okay, so now I'm just going to tuck her right here. And I thought she looks so stinking cute. So, for that, for her face, I end up using the Peachy King face stamp. fashionista 1700 and i end up using this one that faces that way so there goes my back to school card guys it says back to school and when you open it, it says wishing you the best good luck so there you go and then if you guys want you know of course 
if definitely I will get a number and you can either put 2016 2017 back to school 2017 you know put zero two if you have a good penmanship i i'm just gonna leave it like that i'm just giving you guys another idea but there goes my back to school card guys so thank you so much for watching i so do appreciate your support if you like this video please thumbs up you can also share my videos let everybody know uh word of mouth if you want to come follow me on facebook pinterest twitter instagram or periscope i have a link on the top of my uh channel that links you right to my sites okay guys so definitely come over and hit me up okay i so do appreciate it i'll talk to you guys later have a great day bye now